Hello everybody and welcome to the first episode of Euro Truck Simulator 2. Now this is something that some of you requested and it's something that's now happened. So I've just created a brand new uh, no, brand new game, should I say, and uh, here we are. New bit, we've got no levels, we've done no miles, we've done absolutely nothing. I've set my preferred truck to be Scania, that's just personal preference. Um, and here we are, I'm going to be hauling. Uh, so at the minute we've got £2,000, we've got one garage and we've only got one driver, so let's see what we can do with this. Uh, now obviously start off with a tutorial, which uh, normally tutorial which I've skipped through, but we do get the first drive, so let's go for this. So here we are in our lovely Scania. Uh, I've started off in Sheffield, uh, so we are in a right hand driver car, so we'll be driving on the left hand side of the road, so let's go. If I can, if I know where the exit is, is it round here? No, the exit is over here. Apparently, it's over there. Look. So we'll do this one, and then uh, we'll find a mission and uh, pick on what to. Uh, so we're going left here. So we'll turn using indicators. The left hand side of the road, oh, turn that off. Going left again. Right, so green, so let's go. Now, I'm not entirely sure why loads of you wanted to see this, uh, but you did, so I'm doing it. Uh, it is something different, I don't normally do uh, your truck. But we'll see how it goes. This may be an ongoing thing, this may be just a one off thing. Hopefully, it's an ongoing thing, because I really enjoy your truck. Um, so, we'll see. Now, I'm not entirely sure when I want, where I want to be taking this. I don't know if I want to go travelling across the entirety of Europe or... I'm not sure yet, but with it being a brand new account, there is obviously little we can do. But we'll see. Now, I'm assuming it's in here. Uh, and don't ask me to park, because I cannot park trucks. At all. And I won't be parking it, because it'll just be a lot of me going... Oh, I can't do this. So instead, I'm going to use this feature. Yay, I've done it. Um, okay, friends are always there. I've never seen that achievement before. Who knows? Um, so anyway, so that was the job that we just done. That was the free as the wind. That's the very, very first job that you get to do. And I'm assuming this is our garage. It is. It's our headquarters. That looks really not nice. So, let's get into this. Job marking. We'll do a quick job. Let's see what's on offer then. So we've got, as I said, we started off in Sheffield. So we can go Sheffield to Newcastle. That gets three. Is that the most? That's the well paid one. And that's from Sheffield to Newcastle. So we go with that one. I'm not entirely sure how this will take. I'm assuming it won't, it won't take that long, will it? And we're in a DAF. Now people will be shouting at me now. You might actually know what these uh, trucks are actually called, as in their modern things. Um, it's a tap. It's quite loud. Let's go! So we're going left here. Let's put your indicator on. Wait for you. And you. And then let's go. There you go. And away we go. Now the speed limit says 30, and I'm doing 30. Uh, now, it's a bit boring sticking to the speed limit, but with this being the UK, there's going to be speed cameras. Oh, that wasn't good. I clicked the curb there. That's probably not the best idea, really, is it? I don't even know. I didn't even look what I was carrying. I just picked the most expensive job, which. It's probably not good, but at least it gets us up to Newcastle, so it gets us to a different place. Now, it's going to take 3 hours and 25 game minutes, 3 hours and 25 minutes in game time, which is... I don't actually know how long that is, I don't think it's that long. Ah, 60 I'm also not really sticking to lanes. Why? I, I, I don't see the point in them. I do see the point in them in actual 
driving because otherwise you'd just crash into each other. But as provided there's no one behind me, which there isn't because I've got both mirrors on, I'm not exactly bored. I'm coming off here and I'm going a little bit too fast to get around this corner safely. I have a new mail. It's probably saying that I've visited somewhere or that people at the bank have said, oh, you can have some money off us. Which I'm not best. Uh, not best. I'm not too fussed with at the minute. Nothing on the road. Pull out. I didn't need to pull out. It merged into one lane. Uh, but I know that I need to pull over here into this far lane. Because this is the lane for, Man uh, lane for Newcastle. I'm also, as you can probably tell, I'm not the best of drivers. I'm not the best at this game. So I do tend to swerve a bit. I do tend to have a couple of crashes, which, you, you know, it happens. Hopefully not too much. He's pulled out. He's seen that in my left-hand mirror. He's seen that something's going to happen. And he's like, nah, I'll pull out and uh, just go past this, this fool. I'm actually in the wrong lane. I'm in the fast lane. This is bad. I'm doing 46 miles an hour in a 60. I'll pull into this one. This is a slow lane. Uh, doo -doo -doo. This is going to be... It's going to take a while, this, isn't it? Saying that, though, we're in 254 minutes already. It's not been that... Oh, God, that was close. Oh, oh I didn't see him until he was next to me. I need to pay more attention to my uh, my wing mirrors. Right, that's that. I'm sorry, behind me. I'm so I know I saw you after I pulled out. I am sorry. I don't mean to like knock into you and kill you. It's just one of them things of me being on the road. Is that I like to kill people. I don't like to kill people, but. It's one of the things happening for you driving. Oh, I'm getting too distracted. I keep looking at the scenery and the fact that it's not. It doesn't seem to be rendering properly, but then again, that could just be me. Uh, it probably is. Quick update there is a public beta version of uh, Euro Truck available on Steam if you want to go and get that. If you right click on your version and then go down to properties and then hit betas at the top, it, you might be in opt out of all betas. This should be one that says uh, public beta on that. Uh, try that. I've not tried it yet. I didn't want to try it for this because it might um, not work properly and then it wouldn't be a, a fully um, working video, which isn't seems a bit daft. So I'm using the version that is I know works. But go and check that out. I don't know what they've done. But from what I've heard, it sounds quite good. So, a bit of a bit of an update there for you. Now, let me know if you want to see some your truck multiplayer because I do have the ability to do that. I have got the uh, multiplayer version installed, so I can um, I can do that if you want me to. But uh, again, just tell me if you want me to do that or not. Um, because I'm, I'm, I don't know what people want to watch. I'm, I watch everything, so I'm not entirely sure what the people who watch these want to watch. Ah, it's fifty down here in the speed cameras. Right, so let's uh, pop that down to that. There you go. We've crossed them two lanes. Ah, there's a speed camera. Look. Now, if you live in Britain, you'll know that our speed cameras aren't grey. They're usually yellow. Usually uh, on a grey stand, but they have a yellow head. So that's not really what they look like. That's probably either because this wasn't mapped in England, and this is just a generic map from other countries that they've just changed slightly most likely because you don't expect them to map every place exactly do you otherwise it take you that long to uh, drive there come on keep going 
I've not done too badly actually. I've not had a, I've not had an accident yet. I've uh, I've done quite well. We've got an hour and forty three minutes left, which is sixty five miles. Uh, and we're on the A one. I'm not pulling off here, am I? No. How much? Oh, we've got plenty of fuel for this. Sixty five miles. We've got loads of fuel for sixty five miles. I don't know if we needed any, but we don't. anywhere specific as well on here that you want me to see if I can try and get to, let me know, uh, because, or any specific challenges you might want to see on your because I know there is some, uh, but whether you want to see them or not, let me know, just tell me the name of the challenge, uh, and I'll look it up and see if I can do it. And to be fair, if I can't do it, I'll still show you, because it'll be one you want to but yeah, just let me know. down to less than uh, an hour now, we're down 55 minutes and we've only got 34 miles left, so we're not doing too badly, we should be there soon, and I think I'm going to do this this episode, I'm going to put it off after we get there, it's uh, 60 down here, we don't know how long we're doing. Oh, what? It's changed to 50. Oh, that was close. Oh, lucky. I thought it had, uh, I thought it had got me down there, but it was uh, quickly on the break. Oh, God, that was a bit sneaky, seeing so speed cameras in here dropping the speed limit down and then instantly putting the speed camera down. That's a bit nasty there. What's that? Transit that. Right. Get out of here. Oh no! Yeah, I definitely did perfect there. My trailer went into the wind mirror. That was my bad. It didn't look like it did that much damage though. I didn't get a fine for it on how much it was. 250 euros. Because I'm still in euros. Oh, I'm not sure. Next time. I think it's 250 euros. Yeah, in fact, I'm pretty sure you can. Because then at the minute we've got this miles per hour. Also, I really like, I can't remember which update they put it in, but now if you're on the sat nav, it actually does tell you the speed limit. So, it makes it nice, because we, whereas before, it never actually used to tell you the speed limit. You'd have to wait and see a signpost, and then you get caught by speed cameras or whatever. Now at least it tells you, so you know what the speed limit is, and you can plan ahead for it if you like. Also, as well, it converts, if I now go from here to France... It, and keep it in miles per hour so I don't have to change it over. I don't have to convert my speed on the sat nav because it does it for me. Ah, and I was supposed to come off there. Me chatting along has caused me to miss my turn off. So we'll see how this redirects me. We'll soon see. Uh, hopefully, it'll just be off here. In fact, yeah, what I'll do is, if I come off here, I think this will work. If I come off here, and then turn left, and then turn right back onto it, and then go backwards along it. I think that's the best way. Yeah, I can do this. And I'm a bit, oh, I've beached myself on a corner. Come on. Come on, you can get up here. Come on. Go on, I know you can do it. No. Go on, you can do it now. There we go. Right, so if I go left here, as I was saying, yeah, if I go to France, it doesn't actually uh, matter that they work in kilometers because it converts it for me. So my little, my little uh, speed. Okay. What are you doing, mate? Are you being serious? You could s Right, well, you're mental. To be fair, that was probably my fault, but... 
I don't care. Um, so yeah, it just converts it for you. So the little speedo on the sat nav tells you what speed you actually need to go, which is nice. Uh, now I can just carry on here and it'll catch me up to the same place, which is nice. So I'll do that. So not too much of a diversion, I hope. There we go. It's uh, it took me it took it a while to redirect me, man, actually. A little bit odd. Got ten percent damage for him. Oh, drivers nowadays. Oh god, I'm going a bit quick here, aren't I? Slow down a bit. Where's it down? It's a 30 down here, I'm doing 48. Right, now I'm not entirely sure where I need to be going here. Turning left here. Apparently. Cautious because I don't want to clip that curb off. Hit you. Oh, it was all going so well. Why does it have to be nasty to me? It's just not fair. I I don't see what I did wrong then. No, this game is, is silly. There was no need for him to pull out then. He pulled out. I say he pulled out. I didn't pull out in the wrong. He, um, I think he did wrong, didn't he? Right, I'm here. Satisfactory. Let's see what the damage was. So I lost $843, Euros, in fact, and I lost 69 XP. So I'm not even level 1 yet. But that's Euro Truck Simulator 2. We'll come back to it next time. Uh, we're going to 3,523 Euros. And I will see you in a bit. So bye.